Good afternoon. Today we're checking out the Tribute Store. I will let you know it is still over 100 degrees here in Central Florida, so if you are coming to Halloween Horror Nights in September, please come prepared. Anyway, let's go check out what's inside. Now, I was originally thinking that this was going to be a uh, like a movie theater, but it's actually, I think, meant to be a dark ride. And if you come out here, you can see that there's actually the ride kind of elements of being on a track. Here's where it looks like your dark ride would start. Run into the tracks here again. And we'll follow the tracks just for a minute so you can see. It kind of just puts around as if you're on a dark ride. Alright, first things first, I'm noticing everything does seem to be already displayed in some other stores. You've got the shirts here, the 31 shirt, some of the glasses, the fanny pack, and things like that. So we'll keep our eye out and see if there's anything new. And as of right now, it does look to be kind of repeat items, but it is a pretty neat design inside of here. Over here we are seeing the Universal Orlando Annual Pass Holder exclusives, which are going to be the Pumpkin Lord here. And you can see this is pretty much a whole section. You do have the card magnet, you've got pins, you've got t-shirts, more t-shirts. This whole section is pretty much filled with all Pumpkin Lord stuff, including a uh, candle here. The bottom here is also a bag. So you have a bag, shirt, magnet, and pin, and then also the candles here. So these are the weekly magnet releases here. So you can see you've got this week, which is the Halloween Horror Nights. Just kind of the standard one we've been seeing on the shirt and then you have chucky the nightmare fuel kind of just going through recent list and these are 12 dollars each and these are going to be weekly again but i have heard that they do sell out so i would get them earlier than later Definitely what it seems like is for each of these areas inside of the tribute store, you're starting to see what it looks like would be probably the scare zones. And so it looks like this might be like the horrors of Halloween here with all of the pumpkin kind of facade work here and some of the um, obviously majority of pumpkins and all of this work. So we'll continue on to the next section, which I believe is going to be the cemetery over here. Yep, which would be the deadly unrest, I am assuming. Well, these are a little hard to see right here, but these are actually hats with kind of like flowers on them. I haven't seen these yet. Um, kind of like that old timey hat. So these are actually new over right in the second section of the tribute store here, which would be the cemetery zone. And everything else though looks kind of the same from what I'm seeing. You do have a picture frame. I don't know if I've seen this yet. This has kind of the uh, Legends Glide view to it. And it is a little hard to see. It's very dark in here, but we will do our best. Oh, you do get a new mask here as well. You do have Michael up here, but you do have also this one here. It kind of reminds me of uh, Pumpkin Lord a little bit. It's kind of like green and pumpkin-y. And it does look like we finally found some weekend merch. I've been looking for this for a little while and I haven't seen it yet. So first thing I finally have seen for it some nice weekend merch here, just kind of his face, let's see. Nothing there on the back, but it is just his design and you can kind of see there's like a knife in there. It is a little hard to see on camera, but it's got like almost like a knife and like blood. So if you do want a weekend shirt, there is at least one. They really have done a good job in here, just designing this and kind of sifting you through almost as if you're in like a uh, haunted house here. As you we actually see what might be a pretty nice uh, photo op spot here. You've got a little coffin here, and then right on the other side of me, you've got a skeleton. So probably a cool little photo op. It is dark again in here, so I'm not sure you'd be able to get too much for a uh, nice photo, but it is kind of a nice little photo op spot right here in the second section here in the tribute store. that want to get their photo on here. 
Right here, you can see the rest in peace with us. Ah, Lil Boo, right up front. Here you go, if you're looking for some Lil Boo merch, coming to the third section of the tribute store, it is covered. Very, very hard to see again with the lighting in here, but there is a ton of Lil Boo stuff. I don't think you are going to have any problem getting this. Again, today is annual pass holder preview, so there's a chance maybe it could be sold out. Here you go, here comes the witch. Very creaky. I'm gonna say that this fourth room here is much more lit than pretty much any of the rest of the areas inside of here. So it's kind of the end of the tunnel. And there is actually a lot of theming here too. The monster Frankenstein. You get a, I, I guess it's a Frankenstein head. It looks kind of like maybe your creepy doctor. I don't know. Here's another one. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Maybe it makes sense now. Let's go find the exit for this wild dark ride. And into a black rod screen, it looks like. So, not as fun of an exit as much as an entrance. <laughs> so, right over here, as you do exit the tribute store, you see this coin, kind of collectible coin maker. You've got little Boo. Casper, Dracula, and the Pumpkin Lord right here. So four for 15 it looks like. Um, I don't see what a single cost is, it just says four for 15. So I don't know if you could do just a single pay. I don't believe any of these shirts are for sale, but these are pretty hilarious. I got scared by a head on a stick at Halloween Hill Cemetery. I did, yep, I uh, definitely did. Over here, you have the Major Sweet shirt. Major Sweets Candy Coat. You'd hope that maybe they release some of these t-shirts here. You've got over here the Tribute Store. Universal Orlando, I survived at the Tribute Store, and then gone but not forgotten right here. Also up top you can see the I survived at the Tribute Store hat. Right here it says, don't forget your in-chair photo, which is just around the corner here. Snap a photo, and we'll show you that in a second. And here you go. Here is the beautiful photo op opportunity. Okay, let's talk about the Tribute Store. There is a lot of fun little secrets that you can see inside of there. You're basically going through all of the scare zone, kind of, uh, and, and you're going on like this track. It's meant to be like a dark ride and it takes you from room to room. And it's pretty cool. The design and the aesthetics of it are actually really nice. I think that they did a good job of kind of theming each room pretty you know, differently, I would say, except for the first section and the fourth section kind of similar. Um, but I guess, I mean, that's Halloween at the end of the day. You've got lots of pumpkins and things like that. But, you know, I would say that overall, I would give the design of it probably a 7 or 8 out of 10 as far as the looks. As far as the actual merchandise, it's pretty much stuff you've been seeing for the past few weeks. Nothing really new, minus the annual pass holder stuff. And, again, a few little things here and there that I can recall. Maybe, like, um, that hat that kind of had, like, the flowers on it and... Uh, like I said, maybe a few other small items, but at the end of the day, I mean, all of this stuff has kind of already been displayed, so you're really going in for the looks and the aesthetics of the Tribute Store itself. So I would say if that's something you're looking forward to, it's definitely worth checking out. And I mean, I would 100% walk through anyway, but I would say if you're looking for all of these new and exclusive items, you're not really gonna find it here. It, it's pretty much everything, like I said, it, it's there that, that's been available for, again, weeks now. So uh, go take a look. I think it's really cool. Keep an eye on the track. Like I said, it is a dark ride, so you can kind of follow the track through, and I think that's kind of fun. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's a little fun activity to do for a few minutes and get, you know, catch some AC when it's 100 plus degrees out here. So we'll check and see if there's anything new here at any of these booths, but uh, I think with team member previews, I think everything is pretty much set in stone at this point. Real quick, I'm gonna go check mummy updates. There looks like there's nobody here, so I'm gonna say that this is down, but I gotta check because we missed out on last time, dang it. The mummy was down again. They, they are doing technical previews. It's just whether or not it wants to stay open. So if you're interested, you can come to Universal and probably just sit around for a few hours and I'm gonna guess you can get on. Uh, there's obviously a chance that it won't ever get like up and running for the day, but from what it seems like, it does run at some point, but it tends to be closing down quite frequently, and they never tell you when it's going to open for obvious reasons because they don't know. So if you are looking to ride the mummy, I think you can get in if you do come at this moment, but be a little uh, 
tempered with that because there is a chance that it is just down for the day. Oh boy. Okay, do you see what I see here? It looks like, so they got rid of the hands and the feet, but it looks like they left a whole freaking body. Two of them. Whoops. So, leave out the hands and feet, but leave the hanging body. Oh, just kidding. There's a foot all the way over there. And the hanging body. Oops. Here's this one. This one looks like it's just fully skinned. Yikes. Just to kind of note, I've been walking through the scare zones and I just haven't seen anything new yet. Uh, nothing really to report on and we're again now walking through graveyard over here, the uh, cemetery section and same thing. There's nothing really new. I do believe all of the details are pretty much finalized for all of these scare zones at this point and then it's just whatever they're going to bring out at, you know, at the actual event and um, anything they're wheeling out, the, air, the actors and uh, I'm going to assume anything that might take up space in the street. So as of now, the street props that you see during the day is the last bit of it. I really cannot reiterate enough to you, have some sort of either electrolytes, water, something to keep you hydrated here in Central Florida. It gets hot out here and it will beat down on you fast. And obviously you can dip into storage to get some AC, but you've got to stay hydrated out here in Universal Studios, especially come Halloween Horror Nights. I know it's nighttime and a lot of people tend to say, mm, you know, the sun goes down and you know, it gets a lot better. It does, but it's not that much better. You need to stay hydrated. Make sure you're bringing some sort of electrolytes, some sort of water, keep yourself hydrated. Okay, it's gonna finish up our tour of the Tribute Store. If you did like the video today, I'd appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and until next time, take care.